this is uh, Birch Park, the entrance from through the uh, through the breezeway at Park and Ocean, Hugh Taylor Birch State Park, and. Oh, these are beauty berries in here. They look like they're beyond ripe, though. There's a bunch of them. Oh, yeah, yeah. They make jams out of them and everything. The gorgeous color. It's like a dark purple color. See them all in there? A bunch of them. Okay. I guess just walk along and film stuff, and I'll make another video. <laughs> Admission fee... Two dollars, pedestrians and bicyclists. Do you have two bucks? They're right in the little thing there. I don't have that many two bucks. You only got two bucks? Okay, I think I got two bucks too. Here's the map of the park. Part of it's along the intercoastal waterway. And the other part just lines uh, Long Lake Freshwater Lake. And it's just north of Sunrise. Pan. Okay, this is just beyond the entrance. We passed here and we paid the two bucks each. And what do we got here? A little dog walking station. Down there is just a parking lot. We got a Terramar Visitor Center. Um, I've never been in there. Wonder if it's closed. And uh, uh, that around there towards uh, the Intracoastal. That way just is like uh, they have canoes over there that you can rent. You pay inside the um, What's that say? Park and Ocean Restaurant? This is a banyan tree, in case you've never seen one. Fort Myers has a huge banyan tree downtown. A huge banyan tree downtown Fort Myers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is in a park. They have them in Hawaii, too. I noticed one down there. I think that's the first place I ever saw one. It was Hawaii. A year, 20-something years ago when I went. There's an amazing amount of roots in that thing. Wow. Okay, we're headed towards the intercoastal. That's where you can canoe. I've been always afraid of alligators come. They ripped off the parking down there for some reason. Yeah. I'll show you some of the plants here. This sea grape. sea grape. Sea grape. Yeah, the big ones, the big leaves are sea grapes. And this one down here is a, a pepper plant. And they're supposed to be like uh, like a weed down in Florida. They they take over the whole bunch of places and trying to eradicate them, but they're still all around the park. Maybe they stopped eradicating them. I haven't heard about it in years. Currently they have a gopher tortoise crossing here. Please do not pick up the gopher tortoises. Okay, I won't. Popular <laughs> biking trail here in Birch Park. This is a salt, saw palmetto bush, the one with the, the spiky things at the top. I didn't know they can grow that big. That's like, that's like eight feet tall or something. They have some palm trees out here. Mm -hmm. This looks like a, like a corn plant, huh? Well, it's huge. Stuff just grows and grows. I think this, these are probably purposely planted, I bet, the palm trees, because it's right along a trail. I don't know, it could have just been blown in. Yeah, There's a little they water fountain. This. Yeah, I don't know, I'd have to look that one up. Maybe pretty early to get this thing. Yeah, sure. Because they were building that here in the 50s. They just got one that old. This is a pavilion. They have bathrooms up here too, if you ever need it. And uh, volleyball courts when they're up. Service road. Got some water down there. On the intracoastal. This is where they have an entrance to the water taxi. 
Yeah. I've, I've still never been on one. Well, <laughs> thought I'd try it someday. Uh-huh. Sounds good. Water taxi number eight. You can recycle here or throw garbage. See it way up there. This is uh, the Intracoastal. Where that bridge is, the Sunrise Boulevard. And they got all the boats on the water. Lots of boats. I guess people are boating a lot more because they closed all the beaches. There's a fair number of them out here. Those must be other, I don't, I don't think that's salt palmetto. That must be, I think they call it a cabbage palm. The ones oh, with yeah. the trunks on them? Yeah. So this is, and this is another, um, no, and here is more of the intercoastal the picnic tables. It's nice. And then they actually have a flag on Look, That's just bright out here. Oh. <laughs> no, there, are, there is a country with colors like that. I can't remember which one, though. church there once on Palm Sunday. It was three and a half hours long. Wow. <laughs> no sermon. Mm. No sermon. They took communion after three and a half hours. We left. I think it started at seven and we left at three. Uh-huh. Because this guy was going to give me a tour through the back. Let's see. Let's just see. Caution baby tortoise crossing. Okay, I don't see any. <laughs> Must be a lake or some water over there. More uh, sea grape. Okay. Oh, no drones in the park. Oh well. This lake, you can go. That's right, I think it's a canal. That you can go canoeing on. There's all the boats there. Tables you can sit at out here. And eat your lunch. Beach closes at five o'clock. Okay. Just a saw, just saw some guy pass by in little skis with the wheels on them. <laughs> what do I got here? Oh, kayak tours. We have kayak tours, adventure centers open 9 to 5. Uh, huh. Oh, there's a sign. Yeah. Want to use the media, you'll need your license plate number. Minimum is $1.35 an hour. Okay, at the beach they have kayaks. Canoes, bikes, little things that look like skis but have wheels. And a restaurant. There's a little creepy lizard down there. They are creepy. <laughs> These are probably more sea elk grasses. There's the uh, whatever the birch center was from the back here. The pavilion. Oh, there's your deep 